Oh, hey, it's Lara Ginata. Hi. <laughs> I just wanted to, I know, I just stuffed it up before the recording, but I'm on live again quickly for 10 minutes. Just quickly wanted to share a few things with you about me being transgender. And I just wanted to share with you that... I have been transgender and I felt like this since I was three years old. Yeah. So when I was three years old, I ended up going to Mallorca on holidays. And this, actually, I had already seen before I went on holidays, I had already seen a video clip of Boy George with my mum. And it's the one where he comes out of the swimming pool and he's got all the makeup running down his face and he's got the long hair and whatnot. And immediately I was like, oh, I recognise something there. Yeah. But then we went on holidays and at three years old, I uh, ended up finding out on holidays by these uh, girls that I was hanging out with, these girlfriends that I made. That I am not a girl. I'm a boy. Yeah. They said because of what I have downstairs. Because in Europe, you've got to understand, most people go naked to the pool or the beach. Yeah. So when they saw that I had that down there, they told me that I'm not a girl. And I ended up finding out that I was in fact a boy. And I got very, very shocked. And from then on forwards, I stopped going naked to any public place where you would swim, yeah. I would always have bathers on. And then that is when the most interesting questions came out. And that was, why are you wearing bathers? Are you ashamed of what you have down there? Yeah. Yeah. So that already put shame into me at three years old. That's where the matrix, that's where it all started, right? I have now, I'm now in, in, in therapy. I'm in deep, I'm going into deep therapy. And uh, my therapist said to me, where would you like to start? And I said, well, at the beginning, right at the beginning, let's start from here. And um, because it was actually so easy for me to start telling my story because on my Lara Ginata Instagram, I already started the story, yeah. And so it was really easy within an hour for me to go through what I have been through up until my operation, which was when I was 23. Yeah, so I don't think I don't, please don't anyone think that I rushed through this being transgender thing yeah um i got i got very confused along the way yeah i even got confused to the point where i was doubting that i am a woman yeah because i was being told by people that i'm gay and i'm a faggot and queer and all the rest of the stuff yeah which was just simply not true when I was a young child I noticed there was something different between my legs I end up finding out at the age of three that that thing that between my legs made me not a, a girl it made me a boy and that is not who I identified with yeah when I heard that I was in shock I was like, what? I was like, so what I have down there, that makes me that? When I thought I was that? Wow. Anyway, from then onwards, I, on holidays, I would try to find girlfriends where I could borrow clothes <laughs> so I could be, yeah, a girl for the holidays. Um, and then go back to being a boy when I wasn't on holidays, yeah. So, um, then in, 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 after that, 
I started going to my grandma's house instead of turning up as a different animal every time I'd go to my grandma's house, I would turn up as a girl. So no, no elephant this week, no tiger next week. I was Sabina the week after, yeah? <laughs> and uh, that's when my mum, uh, my grandma, she noticed it. She called me a transvestite because back in the 80s, that's more so the words that we used back then or that they used back then. Um, and mind you, I was tiny. Yeah, I was only, I was only a, a, a tiny child. But um, then when we moved to Australia, that's when, um, in 1988, when we moved to Australia, I, I was still able to live a really beautiful, happy ch childhood, yeah. But at the end of primary school, that's when it started getting a little bit more questionable and kids were questioning me and my sexuality and even though I had girlfriends yeah I did have girlfriends yes I had the sexiest and the hottest girlfriends in primary school oh yes I did Heather was one of them <laughs> but I actually only wanted to go out with those girls because I actually wanted to be them. That's what I understand now. Yeah. So it was, it was very confusing. And then especially going into high school where even though I was then really fighting the, f trying to fight the fact that I, that I am a woman or that I feel like I'm a woman because of the matrix telling me that I should be a boy. Yeah. And then when I got into prior uh, into high school and I kept being told that because of my fem, the way that I acted very feminine, femininely and spoke like this, you know, sort of talking with the S's on the S of my words and whatnot, that I was a, Faggot. You've got to understand that that made me <laughs> appear to others feminine. Yeah. And then that's when I started being called, called faggot and gay and queer and all the rest of the words. That is not what I am, right? Or was back then. I am, right? Right now, I'm a woman. That is why I talk like this right? Because I'm a woman. Hello. My spirit from the last reincarnation got trapped in this body as a toy. I am a toy because of a past curse that's been put on me and I'm here to rectify that now in this life. And I'm so, 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 so glad that I've got this opportunity and this is actually funny that this is coming out on TikTok instead of all my other platforms. But yeah, I've got lots, 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 lots more to share, especially about my story and everything that I'm going through physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and yeah, in all those realms. Yeah, so just keep following me. I will be out with some more stuff. Uh, I love you all mwah, unconditionally. And I look forward to hearing everything that you guys want to ask me or any information that you guys have in regards to this. Please let me know more. I want to know more. I want to talk with you guys about this and I want to collaborate with everyone. All my trans, yeah, LGBT, I love you all. We're all here for shamanic purposes. Bless you. Love you.